that's not a nice sunny day at all. A bit noisy, as per normal for a Sunday. And uh, this is the compost ratatouille feature. In fact, what we're doing today is uh, courgettes in containers. So, what I've done is I've prepared the, the compost bed. We've set these plastic milk cartons. We've cut the top and the bottom off, so it's just a collar. And we're going to plant the courgettes into that collar. And this way, it will keep the fresh compost material we're going to be adding in here away from the plants. And that will allow the roots to go in, use the compost underneath and the worms to come up and eat the, the fresh material that we've added. In addition to the courgettes we've got tomato plants which are all going in here but they're a little bit small so we're going to plant them later so let's just crack on and plant these courgettes. Pick off any weeds. We can open that up a little bit. Just encourage them out. So we just gently fill the side out with compost and this should keep the plant away from the fresh material. Like I say in the post, if you go here, this is a old trick that the French market gardeners used to use in the Avrons de Paris. They would be build a compost mound and plant melons in the top. And we're effectively doing the same here with courgettes, which is the same family. So we just gently tease them out. Just open the root up a little bit and find its own way down without any problems. This is a bit of compost as well from the last couple of weeks which we've mixed with shavings just to stop it from getting smelly but it won't do any harm in here yeah. and just to keep it covered a bit more plastic a bit more lino rather keep the plastic cover on, continue to keep the, the heat in. But a couple of things I didn't mention. Uh, should we make bulk at the idea of putting shavings in here? Well, we're not actually putting shavings into the compost, we're putting them onto the surface. And that's a big difference. If we were mixing it in, then we could get some nitrogen robbery. But we're not mixing it in, putting it on the surface. And also, there's a lot of misconceptions about the idea of putting woody material into compost. And that's it really.